What's up everyone? This is the Lucas Ross Sports Channel and it is time to give you my official prediction for the second game of the college football playoff semifinal matchups for the number four seeded Ohio State Buckeyes and the number one seeded Georgia Bulldogs in the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl coming up on New Year's Eve weekend. This will be the last college football playoff semifinal prediction. Um, yesterday, I gave you the Michigan versus TCU prediction yesterday, so you can go back and watch that video. And again, how this video works, I give you the stats comparison between the two teams, and then I give you the game summary of who the favorite going into that game is. And then, of course, I'll break down, you know, their season. And then at the end of this video, I'll give you a score prediction slash prediction of how the game will go down. So that's how my video works. So if you missed that video yesterday, between TCU and Michigan, go back and watch that video. That was the number three versus number two seeded matchup. Now we got the number four versus number one seeded matchup here. So let's just jump right into it here between the Ohio State Buckeyes and the Georgia Bulldogs. So we'll start with the stats comparison. We'll start with Ohio State first. The passing yards are at 294.2 yards of passing. CJ Stroud has shown us that he can be a real good quarterback, maybe in the future for the NFL and also for the future of Ohio State. Now, we know Ohio State, you know, has been inconsistent at times on the offensive side of the ball, but they still overall are a pretty good offensive team. This is a team that can also run the football pretty well. They're averaging about 198.5 yards on the ground. Their best tailback is pretty much, you know, Mayan Williams. Um, he's a junior, and he's, got, he's leading the team in rushing this season and also 13 rushing touchdowns, so... They're going to have to have a big game from him in this one if Ohio State's going to have to win this game. Points per game, um, Ohio State averaging about 44.5 points per game. So, yeah, this is an offense that can score a lot of points in this game, and they have a shot to really get past this Georgia defense. This Georgia defense is really good, but I think offensively for Ohio State, they can score some points. You look at the offensive ranking for Ohio State, seventh on offense. This is a really good offense once again this season, like they were last year. Defensively, they've been much better. They're 11th on defense. Uh, last year, the defense kind of took a step back, but this this season, they're kind of you know better. And also, they're forcing some turnovers. That's what makes this Ohio State defense really good. So those are the stats for this Ohio State team. Looking at Georgia stats, 284.9 yards of passing. We know Stinson Bennett is a great quarterback for Georgia. He was a Heisman finalist. And going into these games here, going into this game this Saturday, we got two guys that were in the Heisman finalists, and they had a chance to win the Heisman Trophy. But now it's time for them to really show out that they can still be a really good quarterback, even though they did not win the Heisman Trophy at all. But this is a Georgia team that can run the football pretty well. Um, they got some really talented running backs. Um, they got Kenny McIntosh, who is pretty much a great tailback. And they're averaging about 207 yards on the ground. So this is a team that can run the football offensively. They have a really good offensive line. And if they can run the football against this Ohio State defensive line, things could really be good news for Georgia. So they have a chance to really get past that, on that Ohio State defense, I should say. Uh, Georgia averaging about 39.2 points per game, so that's a really good sign to see, but just off the 40-point mark. But, yeah, this Georgia offense can score. They can score some points. They're really explosive. I think they're pretty much, you know, explosive like they were last year. So, and looking at their offense and defensive rankings, they're both pretty even. They're both eighth on offense and eighth on defense. So, yeah, the defense is not the, you know, team from last year. I think this is still a good defensive group for Georgia. I think they are pretty much a really dangerous defense. They've shown that in the in November where they can slow down teams. They gave up a lot of points against LSU, but that really doesn't matter. I mean, they still won that game pretty easily. The offense just really, you know, executed their offense as well. So, yeah, offensively and defensively for Georgia in the rankings, they're pretty much even. So those are the stats comparison between the two teams. And looking at these stats here, Ohio State does definitely have the advantage in points per game. The passing yards, they have the advantage in that. The rushing game, though, belongs to Georgia. And the rankings, honestly, go ahead. It's pretty even. It is really even between these two teams, which is going to be really tough to predict this game. Now let's get into the game summary here between these two teams. Uh, Ohio State coming in with a record at 11-1. Georgia undefeated at 13-0. 
And this one will be at 8 o'clock Eastern time on New Year's Eve. It will be on ESPN um, following the TCU versus Michigan game. So um, both games will be played um, this Saturday. It will be Michigan versus TCU at 4. And then it will be 8 o'clock game for Ohio State and Georgia. This game will be in Atlanta, Georgia. So got a little bit of a home turf a little bit for Georgia, hometown fans. But I think this is pretty much going to be an even game because it is a neutral site game. It's not like a home field advantage game or anything like that. But Georgia heading into this game as a 6.5 favorite, a 6.5 point favorite, I should say, perhaps. But yeah, Georgia is the favorite going into this game. And if you look at the FBI, they're giving Georgia about a 57% chance to beat Ohio State. And that's kind of low. That is kind of low, but it is a 50-50 chance that both of these teams can beat each other. Um, Ohio State has a 42% chance to win this game um, by the FBI. So, yeah, both teams have a really good opportunity to pull off a huge win here. The over and under is at 62. So, I mean, both teams have a really big shot to score some points as well. Looking at Ohio State, they're 11 and 1, coming off that last loss to Michigan in their le- in their last game of the regular season. They got really manhandled in that second half. So, but Ohio State's got weapons. They got weapons on both sides of the ball, especially on defense. They can force some turnovers, and also they got some great wide receivers that can line up pretty easily. Uh, Georgia's got a great receiving group, though. Uh, they got Brock Bowers, who's a great tight end. So leading Georgia in receiving. And Stinson Bennett obviously can get it done uh, for this Georgia team. He can throw the ball good. If they can give Stinson Bennett plenty of time to throw the football, Georgia's going to pass the football really well. But I think the key for Ohio State to stop this Georgia offense is pretty much for some turnovers. I think that, you know, turnovers will be a big change here in this game, but I'm going to give you my thoughts on the game when we um, go through that. So um, basically, though, Ohio State, 11-1, their last loss coming to Michigan, and then Georgia comes in at 13-0. Georgia, obviously, um, you know, they they allowed so many points against um, LSU, but still won the SEC championship fair and square, and they winded up being the best team in the SEC. So, but that's the game summary between Ohio State and Georgia. Um, Again, the FBI is giving Georgia about a 57% chance and then Ohio State about 42%. So now let's get into the prediction here. We got Ohio State, the number four team in the college football playoff. We got Georgia as the top ranked um, team in the college football playoff. And how do I think the game's going to go down? Well, I think it's going to be a defensive game in the first half. Maybe the second quarter it starts to pick up. Maybe the first quarter it starts to be a defensive battle. But the second quarter, it starts to pick up. Maybe it's tied going into halftime. Maybe Ohio State gets up, and maybe they're tied once again heading into um, the fourth quarter. And I think Georgia, I just think they are the better team. I think turnovers really changed the game in this one as well. And I think Ohio State can force some turnovers. They could score points and all. But I just think Georgia's defense is much better. They'll start to step it up in that fourth quarter as well. And I think I'm going to pick the Georgia Bulldogs here to beat Ohio State in the college football playoff semifinal matchup. I'm going to pick this one to win them 40 to 28. I think that's the final score prediction right there Um, for me. I mean, I think Georgia does pull away uh, maybe late in the fourth quarter and they start to get a couple touchdowns perhaps, but I think that's how the game goes down. I think they get a couple touchdowns perhaps late in the fourth quarter, but maybe that's how the game goes down. A turnover really changes the game. Let's say if Ohio State uh, turns over the ball. Georgia's going to pull away. Uh, Georgia turns over the ball. They're going to. Ohio State's going to start pulling away. So I think that's how the game will go down. I got Georgia winning it um, in the college football playoff semifinal, and I think they do move on to back-to-back national championships, and they'll play Michigan if that is the case. So um, let me guys know what you think about this prediction. Um, also, let me know, guys know who you think will win uh, this game and what's your final score prediction. And stay tuned here for more on the Lucas Ross Sports Channel.